It's Media Week here in France, and we have a special edition of Truth or Fake. It's designed for students at middle schools and high schools, but it has lessons for all of us. So we're going to take a look today at these photographs that supposedly were taken at demonstrations here in Paris about pension reform and the retirement age. Now, there are lovely photos. We see riot police in full riot gear who are embracing female protesters. And we'll take a closer look at one of these pictures. It's an especially nice picture, but there is something wrong with it. Now, take a close look. There is something off with this picture. It is actually 100% fake. Nothing is true in this picture. This man and this woman and this person over here, they never existed. The smoke, it was all developed, it was all made up by a computer. It was generated by artificial intelligence. So everything is fake here. And there is one detail that gives it away. And the detail is here in the hands. For some reason, artificial intelligence has a problem drawing hands. Now take a look at that hand. Can you see anything wrong with it? Try counting the thumbs and the finger. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. This man has six fingers, like who knows why. Then we take a look at this woman's hand over here. Same thing, it's a little bit weird. And this time, I can't really count, I can't even see it. But she has maybe four fingers, but there's something wrong with her hands. Now, hands are a weak point for artificial intelligence. It often can't detect them. And I'll take a look at some other images. Now, these were created by DALI. This is one of the best known generators of artificial intelligence photographs. DALI, D-A-L-L-E. We asked it to make pictures showing demonstrations in Paris. Now, this first one here is very realistic. You see the trees, flags, demonstrators, the backs of their heads. It's a nice picture. This one here, however, once again, as soon as it tries to do hands, it messes up. We'll take a look at this picture of a hand. When you take a close look, there's just a sort of clump here. And this hand here is even worse. I don't even know what it is. For some reason, artificial intelligence can't draw hands. And that's good news for us because that helps us recognize them. Here are two more hands just to show how bad they can be. One here, one here. On the right, it's not too bad. Obviously here, this is just a disaster. So this is a tip to remember. When you're looking at a photo, you want to know whether it was created by artificial intelligence. The hands are the first thing to look at. Now, more and more of the images we see in coming years are going to have been created by artificial intelligence. And it's important that people know that. Now, that was, in fact, was the intention of this man, the one who posted those three pictures, who created those three pictures. His name is Web Crooner. He's on Twitter. When he posted those pictures, he said, do not believe everything you see on the Internet. It's very important that people are aware that much of what they see is manipulated and even entirely created by artificial intelligence. Now, Web Crooner, posted some tips on his site about how to detect fake images that have been created by artificial intelligence. So we're going to take another look at three of his pictures, and I'll take you through some of the warning signs you can look for. Here's this first picture we, took at, we looked at. Now, in addition to the police officer's hand, take a look at people's faces. The devils are often in the details. Now, take a look at this woman's nose. When you look at a lot, a lot of photos that have been created by artificial intelligence, the features of the face, especially of women, look the same. They have narrow noses and they have high cheekbones. There are other things going on in this image here. Um, this man, this is something to look for, very often where flesh meets an accessory with glasses or, in this case, a mask, something is funny. You see that the mask doesn't fully cover his nose. In this next picture here, we see a little bit of the same thing with the accessories, with the glasses, but here it's more obvious. Look at this. That is all messed up. For some reason, artificial intelligence has a hard time generating pictures of glasses and also of jewelry, things like necklaces. Uh, here's something weird, which is just bizarre. Why would you give a teddy bear three mouths? I've got no answer for that. Then this is the most interesting thing here. Look at the text here. It should be pretty easy for artificial intelligence to write police, but instead they've written, I don't know if you can read it, they've written Pionel, whatever that is, some sort of nonsense. Same thing here on the police officer's badge. It says Grimio SOS, doesn't mean anything at all. And then down here, oop, here we go. His helmet was made by Cagillio. It's nonsense. For some reason, artificial intelligence has a hard time with words. Let's just take a look at this last picture. Here we have another picture of a woman. This woman was made up, but you'll see 
She has a very sharp nose and high cheekbones. Those are, tr those are signs that she could have been created by artificial intelligence. So these three photos are very nice photos, they're very realistic, but fortunately for us, there are still ways of detecting that they were generated by artificial intelligence. For now, Dali still has problems counting fingers and spelling words. Now that is good news for us, but that is going to change because remember, we're talking about artificial intelligence. The technology is evolving very rapidly. When you're talking about artificial intelligence, you're talking about machine learning. That means that DALI is learning from its mistakes. DALI is learning when we put information into DALI for analysis. So DALI is going to learn from its mistakes and going to get better and better. The pictures are going to get more and more convincing in the years to come.